How's it going all amazing people? TJF, welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. Today we have a special guest. Hi guys, I'm Michael McCrae. Wait, what the? What the heck? Oh yeah, I, I, I thought we'd, we'd match. Yo, I, yo, I wore this first. Hi Bolt. So. What's that got to do with anything? So Michael McCrae actually runs a top five channel right over here. The content over there is super amazing. If that sounds interesting to you guys, click right here. Also the links will be in the description below. And he's a good looking guy. Don't you guys wanna go check him out? So in the last video, Landon asked you guys what shocks you, and this is what you had to say. Today's comment question of the day is what YouTubers do you guys watch? So getting right into this one, this right here is the top 10 most successful YouTubers. Let's jump right into things in the number 10 spot, we have Superwoman. Her real name is Lily Singh, she is from Brampton, Ontario, and she is the most successful Canadian female working on YouTube. She's known for her opinion driven rants on topics such as types of people and drive throughs and girls on their periods. She's also known for doing amazing comedic sketches and pumping out music videos. At the time of this recording, she is approaching 6 million subscribers. Her work on YouTube has allowed her to rub shoulders with mainstream celebrities, including The Rock, Ariana Grande, Ed Sheeran, Seth Rogen, and James Franco. Right now, she is on her world tour with stops in India, Australia, Hong Kong, Singapore, the UK, Dubai, and all over North America. Now, if you live in any of these places, well, why don't you go find a ticket so you can meet her face to face? So next, we have Vsauce, who is UK's most subscribed person, and he successfully makes his way into number nine. The person behind Vsauce is Michael Stevens. He created his channel on June 24, 2010. He is known for scientific and philosophical topics. At the time of this recording, he has almost 9 million subscribers to go along with 800 million views, which is super crazy. With his success, Michael went on to create two more channels, Vsauce 2 and Vsauce 3. Not too creative. And I'm wondering when Vsauce 4 is going to happen. But meeting him in real life, I asked him that question and he doesn't think there's going to be a Vsauce 4. So these channels are about gaming, technology, culture, and other topics of general interests. With all the channels combined, Vsauce has over 15 million subscribers. Michael has appeared on several online news publications such as Huffington Post, CBC, and Gizmodo. He has also won a streaming award for the best science and educational channel, show, or series. So who's more successful than Vsauce? We're talking about, hey, it's Fred! Do you guys remember him? Do you remember him? Hey, it's Fred! And we don't even need to like edit his voice. That was like spot on. So believe it or not, but he became the first YouTuber to hit 1 million subscribers. This is real life right now. Now the channel was run by a 15 year old Lucas, but he played the role of a six year old Fred. His popular catchphrase, hey it's Fred, captivated the world. Or I think so. How did he get so many subscribers and views if it annoyed everyone? Now at the age of 21 years old, he has a net worth of over $5 million. Lucas' YouTube success turned into an international success. In 2009, he worked with Nickelodeon and came out with his first movie, Fred the Movie. And then that followed by a sequel, Fred 2, Night of the Living Fred. And there was a Fred 3 because there was so much demand for it. Lucas also has a TV show that aired four seasons and there's a game made after him. He also has a ton of merchandise. Next up, we got another YouTube channel that got their own big budget movie, I'm talking about Smosh at number 7. Ian Hexcock and Anthony Padilla got their start in 2005 posting lip singing videos to YouTube. Today the brand of Smosh has evolved into a multi-channel network. This comedic pair they've taken home YouTube awards, also shorty and streamy awards, and on three separate occasions they found themselves at the top of the most subscriber list. Currently they have more subscribers than Rihanna Vivo, Katy Perry Vivo, and Eminem Vivo. That is quite company to be in. So the first ever report a millionaire on YouTube entertains his way into number and I'm talking about this guy right here Ray William Johnson he's known for his equals three in which he provides funny commentary while reviewing viral videos. He was recognized by Guinness World Records for having the most subscribers, which was a few years ago. Ray has had many celebrities on the show like Robin Williams, Sarah Silverman, Gabriel Iglesias, Garfunkel and Oates, and many, many more. Ray has gone on to produce his own web series known as Riley Rewind. He also put together a music channel, Your Favorite Martian, which has generated millions of dollars in cash. Currently, he's pitching television shows out in Hollywood. Next up, we have Michelle Fan, who's sitting Pretty at now this girl at one point in time, she worked at a Chinese buffet as a hostess. Now she's a global icon. She started posting makeup tutorials in May of 2007. By 2009 and 2010, she had two viral videos under her belt with how to get Lady Gaga's eyes and a Barbie transformation tutorial. At the time of this recording, she is approaching the 8 million subscriber mark. She also has more than 1,135,000,000 views. She has partnered with L'Oreal with her own branded content. She has three new channels up and running and she is reporting 
reported to be worth $5 million. Yeah, not bad for a 28 year old. Okay, let's keep moving things along with number four. We have Nigga Higga. Whoa, whoa, whoa. it's, it's Nigga Higga. Good to know, Niga Higa. Ryan Higa started off in 2006 while he was in high school. He had a premise similar to the boys in Smosh, lip singing music videos. Him and his friends would jam their way out to songs like You Are Beautiful, but copyright and suspension shut them down temporarily. Today he's on top of his game. He has 8 channels with a combined view count of over 2.5 billion views. And he has over 18 million subscribers. Besides making hilarious comic shorts, he has also moved on to make his own featured film, short films, and book work in mainstream acting roles. So Jenna Marbles is one of the fastest growing YouTube channels and she comes in at number her personality has been taking the internet by storm. Everyone has been losing their marbles. She has over 15 million subscribers and more than 1.7 billion views. Damn. She is the seventh most subscribed channel on YouTube and the top channel operated by a woman. Before YouTube, she graduated from Brighton High School in 2004. She moved to Boston where she continued her education at Suffolk University. She obtained a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Later, she attended Boston University for a Master of Education in Sports Psychology and Counseling. With the success of YouTube, she she is now traveling the world talking in front of thousands of people. She entertains them and she's quite funny. Now I love Jenna Marbles. She is the queen of YouTube, but in the number two spot we have the king. I'm talking about PewDiePie. PewDiePie's real name is Felix Kielberg and he is from Sweden. Growing up, he was a video game fanatic and decided to turn his love of gaming and his peculiar personality into a full time career. He started uploading videos in 2010. By 2012, he had over a million subscribers. Today, he has over 37 million subscribers and 9 billion views. Now there are many reports out there stating that he is bringing in an estimated 4 million dollars each and every year. He has picked up awards for his hard work including a shorty award, a teen choice award and a streamy. On top of all that, the guy gives back. He has raised over a million dollars for charity. You gotta love PewDiePie, you know? Although your parents are probably like, I don't get it. I love him, and you probably do too. So Shay Carl has recorded his daily family's life into the number one spot. He was a daily vlogger where he started vlogging, showing the world that he was trying to lose weight. With the support of the viewers, you amazing people, he kept going and he never stopped. He's 35 years old and he has had one of the most successful stories from YouTube. He went on to make his own company called Maker Studios, in which he sold to Disney for $500 million with another $450 million pending. With that money, he didn't decide to retire. Instead, he continued to create more content. He now has a podcast with his wife titled When the Kids Go to Sleep, and he has guests on there including Terry Crews and other YouTube celebrities. He's appeared on Anderson Live, worked with Matt Damon, and brands such as Foot Locker, Kia, Skype, and now he has his own brand called Trixon. What a successful life. Don't worry, Landon, one day we'll be there. A long, long, many years. Yeah. On top five, it's gonna take me a really long time. You guys should check out top five. Take, check it out, help me get there. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was a whole lot of fun. Thank you for Michael for joining me today, and I'll see you guys next Friday, like I always do. So what did you think about this? That is a lot of work. I do five, but 10 is like, well, it's double the work. It's literally double the work. Maybe we should switch channels. I'll do five and you do 10. There's no way. Absolutely. I don't want, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. But I do put out more videos each week. I put out at least three. So if you guys want to check it out, you guys should head over there and put hashtag most amazing top 10 and send me here. So if you guys want to see more videos, you guys know what to do. There's two videos beside me. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for the success on this channel. It's been blowing up.